Hey guys and welcome back to another video and hope you are all okay on that side of the screen and today to take a quick look at this budget Android TV box the Pendu X10 Plus. Now starting with the unboxing experience we will find a very simple package with the Pendu X10 Plus box inside, a power adapter, an infrared remote control, HDMI cable and a quick user guide. Now in terms of the build quality don't expect too much because it's a budget machine so the plastic is not that well built. Nothing wrong with it but don't expect too much. In terms of connectivity, we will find a USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, a micro SD card slot, infrared remote extender, if any of you guys want to use this, a AV out, Ethernet, HDMI, optical out, and a power input jack. Now, in terms of the hardware, really quickly, it is using a very well known here on the channel SOC, which is the AM Logic X2, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of flash storage with Android 8.1. Now, it comes with the infrared remote control, which is this one right over here, but as you guys know, I've given up in infrared remotes they just suck in every single device that has infrared remote not just this one so you're better off with any of these uh, this is a budget infrared I've done a video about infrared remotes I'll try to leave a link down below or a more complete like this one right over here and of course as a compliment again but this is the way that I work I just forget about uh, infrared remotes now looking at the device itself in terms of the launcher is not bad at all actually it's quite refreshing it's easy to use very simple but you guys will have a moment to see uh, the design it's clean and it's a bit different than what we are used to see on a daily basis on this type of machine so i was actually quite happy it has a top row to add our favorite apps and then it has all the apps below and then at the bottom it has the settings the app draw which is not necessary but it's there and that's about it so simple to use and i actually did enjoy it's not just a copy paste from every single box that we see now moving to benchmarks so that you guys can compare with other devices and starting with the network speed test as you guys can see over ethernet we will be able to get a maximum of 100 download and 100 uh, megabits per second on upload wi-fi uh, 2630 which i wouldn't suggest this box to use over wi-fi if you have an ethernet connection then it will be great in terms of movie playback as we will have the chance to see but over wi-fi either you will have a very strong connectivity and you will do something simple but if you want to stream uh, high demanding bitrate movies then it will not be able to in terms of the disk speed test so that we can see if it's fast enough or not it is quite good 83 megabytes per second on read and 11 on write but we will use mostly the read than the write especially to launch apps and so on and so forth so i did find it quite useful especially having in consideration the price that it costs and then in terms of geekbench and antutu nothing out of the ordinary it is in line uh, with the boxes using this kind of socks so here uh, nice results and the results that we were expecting now if you ask me hey robert what about media consumption i was able to play with no problems at all youtube up to 1080 with no lags very smooth video playback so if you're looking for a machine that it's capable of playing youtube great netflix i was able to use netflix but uh, as most boxes that we see it's not licensed so we will be limited to sd quality and for those that love Netflix, then like many boxes on the market, this will not be the first choice, but it does play. So if you want to use Netflix occasionally, then this is a suggestion. For those of you that are looking for a machine that is able to play Plex, Kodi, Ambient, so on and so forth, uh, with your own library, then it will play just great. I had no issues at all. I did find, I did play a few MKV 1080 Blu-ray movies over my network, and this device was just capable of uh, transcoding using Kodi and playing without any issues at all once again using the ethernet connection also played with a few files 4k h265 and h264 codex and no issues so in terms of media consumption it's a device that works without any issues the only concern is netflix only sd quality now to finish up in terms of gaming guys it is what we are used to see for this kind of sock we will be able to play the android games that are available on the play store um, but once we go up to game streaming then the only suggestion that i would leave here is that at this moment like many boxes on the market right now it's not capable of taking advantage of the app from steam link which is my favorite app at this moment with an amd gpu so if you want to play around with game stream my suggestion 
option is to use uh, NVIDIA GPU and the Moonlight app like we did a lot here on the channel. So if you have any questions, just search the channel and you will find a lot of tests on Windows, on Android, on Linux and so on and so forth. But at this moment with this setup, AMD GPU and then the Steam Link app, it doesn't work for most of the boxes and this one is another that doesn't work with this particular setup. And that is it guys, hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.